Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and today's video is going to be about birth control and how it ruined my life. So before we get started, I want to say yes, I am wearing a fake ponytail. As you guys know, they were my shit when I was uh, pregnant with Graceland because my hair was dead and I never felt like doing it. This one is from INH Hair, insert name here, hair. Um, I posted them on my Instagram, so if you wanna check them out, go ahead, I posted a picture, like tagging them and all that. This is the Mia Pony, and this is the Molly Pony, and um, yeah, they're both different colors, by the way, this one's dirty blonde and this one's honey, and I kinda feel like the honey matches better. It's, it's lighter, but my um, highlights are lighter, I just need to touch up my hair, but yeah, so, like I said, this one's the Molly, this one's the Mia, and I just, I really love them. So, if I sound a little sick, it's because I am, but we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. First off, I'm going to start with the first, first birth control I've ever tried, and that was the Depo shot, and I tried this whenever I had Timothy. I got it, like, a month after having him, and I bled, kid you not, for six months straight. And, um, so I had the depo shot and then I got it one more time, bled six months straight, nonstop. So that was fun. Um, it also gave me headaches, nausea. I was sick all the time. I never wanted to eat. Like it just messed up my body completely. And now every doctor I talk to about the depo shot, like not getting it, but just telling them my experience, my history they're like that's the worst one we never recommend it so so glad I got that for my first time on birth control and then the second birth control I tried was the birth control pill um, I don't re remember the specific brand name but it was a higher hormone birth control and um, I tried it for three days and I was nauseous to the point where I was bent over thinking I was going to puke I had migraines TMI, but I was a little bit dry down there. Well, not a little bit, a lot dry down there. Um, it caused me to just have dry skin too. Like, it was just horrible. Like, it messed up my body as well. Like, the nausea, I've never experienced that kind of nausea before in my life. But whenever I was on this birth control, I did. And then moving on, I tried the birth control pill again. So I was on low estrogen here for eight months and it was pretty good. It worked really well. I got on it right after Graceland and I liked it for the most part. I was taking it. The only thing I didn't like is how my period started in the middle of me taking the pills. Like it's supposed to start um, whenever you take like the darker colored pills. I guess they're sugar pills and that's whenever your period is supposed to start. Mine like to start whenever I would start the second line of white pills or whatever color pills you have where there's hormone in it. So my period would start while I was taking the hormone pills, which it's not supposed to do. So after a while, I tried balancing it out so that my period would start during the sugar pill week. And um, needless to say, I stopped getting my period. I stopped producing eggs and I just didn't have a period. I was super, like, it just made me really hormonal and stuff. So I stopped taking it because it obviously, I wasn't having a period anyways. I went to my doctor and that's whenever he did an ultrasound and said that I wasn't producing eggs and that I needed to take progesterone pills to get my period to start again. He said that my, the lining of my uterus was, I forget what he said, but it was higher than what it's supposed to be. So that means my cervix was, or not my cervix, it means my uterus was thick. The lining was thick because whenever you have your period, that lining goes away. Like it, I, forget, I don't know what the word I want to use, but it, it sheds. So I took the progesterone for one night and after that one night, I started my period and it was like a regular period it wasn't too bad like it wasn't worse than the ones I normally get so I had my period and then I was like okay well I want to be on birth control so what do I want 
So I was debating different ideas. I even asked you guys what you use because I just needed advice. And I ended up choosing the um, IUD and I got the Lilita or Lolita or however you pronounce it. IUD, it's kind of like the Mirena, but it's a different brand and it's smaller. So I got that one and that's what I have right now. And so far I feel pretty good. I've had it for almost a week and I feel fine. Um, the only thing I will say is that whenever I was getting it put in, my cervix is tilted. So he was tugging on my cervix and he dilated my cervix so that it wouldn't hurt as bad getting the IUD in. And it, it, all in all, it was pretty good. I think I was being like a little bit overdramatic on my part because I was scared and I didn't know what was going to come next and what type of pain I was going to feel. After I got the IUD, I was kind of crampy. Like, it just kind of felt like I needed to go number two. Not that girls go number two, but I felt like I needed to go number two. And um, so I was crampy, like not too bad. I was spotting and that was basically it. I still am a little bit crampy, but I think that's because it's trying to settle into place. So honestly, all in all, not that bad. The pain in getting it was about a three, but I also had a lot of issues with tugging and pulling and he tried to get it in like three or four times. So it was just, my body was just being complicated. So if yours isn't complicated, I would definitely say it's not painful at all, but like everybody, every person's different. Um, I go Friday for a checkup on it and they're going to do an ultrasound and just make sure it's settled into place and everything. If it didn't, they'll have to take it out. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope this um, birth control works. I hope this doesn't mess up my body. Like, I hope everything goes smoothly. I haven't been bleeding hard or anything, so that makes me optimistic. But I'm not going to get my hopes up because every birth control has failed me so far. I'm just sensitive to medicine. I'm sensitive to every medicine. So, yeah. That is all for my story or video or whatever you want to call it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope to see you on my next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and DM me, DM me on Instagram. I'll try to get you. If I can't, I'm sorry, but just know I love you. So yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.